All right, so let's talk. Book three, Ascend Online, Legacy of the Fallen. So we catch up with Lyrian crafting. I mean, he's just crafting. And they're, you know, they built Virtus up into a company, so they're doing, like, recruitments and shit. You also have a guy named Staten, Staten, come into the village, and this is where Lazarus, Sawyer, and Ransom come in, because they come with Staten on the orders of the Dowager Queen, Miss Daenerys. And so, through all this, they're there to go look at the ley line. Um, Lyrian and his guys have a run-in with Carver, and given Lyrian's ether warpness, he actually, like, ghouls out and dies. Like, his mana gets depleted and he ends up dying. Because Carver has a wolf that can drain mana, and he can't get it back, so it kills him. Anyway, go on with that, uh... Lazarus, they have a meeting about what's going on, and Stanton tells them that Lazarus and the other three players don't want anything to do with it. They reject it not to come to the meeting, and then you find out that that was bullshit, that he was told not, Lazarus and them were told not to come. And then the story kind of progresses on from there. Lazarus and them start doing some off and on missions with them. Up until a point where things go sideways when Lazarus, Larian shows him the um, dungeon or cave, wherever that where the ley line is, and Stanton wants to make it property of Iberia, and Larian's like, "Yeah, I don't fucking think so." So everything kind of goes south, and they actually ban Stanton from being able to go in, and then Larian and Lazarus have a big ass brawl that Larian ends up becoming victorious, and they get the feed. Lair, or Lazarus's feet to see what the fuck is actually going on in Iberia. So, Lazarus eventually, he nods to it, and Stanton finally comes out and confirms that he's not actually Adrian Stanton, who he's supposedly been for 20-something years. He's actually a spy <laughs> that they put in place of the guy that deceased, Adrian Stanton. So, shit's kind of on edge, badly. Um, they end up going into the dungeon and finding the Nefarian runes, and they end up actually having to take over and claim that they're a security sweep team trying to contain the ley line, because it's ran basically off of computers, is how it kind of breaks down. Um, they eventually make it all the way through that, and they find a grove underneath that's been growing because of the ley line. They call it the Twilight Grove. As they're exploring it, they all end up dying by something called the Beast. So when they get back, they are confronted by a group. Um, and in this group, they kind of make a stink about Lyrian and Virtus owning basically everything around Alfred. And Lyrian's like, well, yeah, we, we were here first. We've been exploring it. It is what it is. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Well, they finally come to the conclusion that they're going to need every adventurer possible to defeat this place and to defeat the beast. And there's been some backstabbing and shit that happens throughout it with some other guys. But anyway... They get down in there, they're kind of, you know, slowly progressing through and leveling up as they go through this magical jungle up until the point that, oh, what the fuck's his name? I can't remember the guy's name. He's a little weaselly bastard, though. Ends up uh, coming, running back into camp with a bunch of spirits on his ass, right? So the camp gets utterly destroyed, but they end up winning. And defeating the spirits. And then they decide later on that it's time to take out everything. They, they, this group has, had found a way to the ley line, to the rune stones. Well, they found out the rune stones, there's a spell. And as they continue on through, they finally get pulled to the beast slayer. 
and the guy, I can't remember his name of him and his group, end up actually working for Carver and betraying Larian and Virtus. So now, not also they happen to fight the Beast and some ethereal ghosts. They're having to fight this group plus some of Carver's men. And then there's a big ass showdown in Twilight Grove between Carver and Lyrian, where they actually find out that Carver is playing a much bigger game. And it has to do with this ley line. And Carver's actually trying to blow up Alfred, Alfred and everybody in it and progress this one storyline well luckily Lyrian and them kind of foil the plans they use a oak tree that they planted which is an ether warped oak tree and use it to seal off the ley line that's the basics of book three very basics there's a lot of shit that happens in legacy of the fallen so fucking phenomenal get to reading this shit people peace